Hello everybody, my name is James and welcome to F1 2016 Season 4, uh, race number 11 and we are here at Hungary. Um, that last race <laughs> was quite something. Um, ended up leading at one point and then ended up being taken out at one point. Yeah, it was quite something and sadly it was a very, very bad result. Uh, Hungary is probably one of my worst tracks of my career mode. I've never scored any points here. So I'm hoping for some better fortune. So let's see how we do here. Because right now I don't feel like the luck is on my side. So we could do with some today. As I accidentally switched the DLS off. I turned it on, off, and then on again. I go a little wide there. That does not help. Current 14th. I need to be a bit quicker. Not that much quicker. Fucking hell. I'll go a bit wide. This car feels all over the place sometimes. I don't know if it's just me making mistakes or it's... It's the car. It just feels weird. God, this is a horrible... This is my worst qualifying yet. Jesus Christ. 20th. Man. Where, where, where is this pace dropped? Where, where is my pace gone? It is quite embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Come on, let's push. Let's try and get something out of this. Did I get 18? That's a bit disappointing, but we just need to push Damn. so we can still come away with something. Well, I can't do any worse, so that's one bright side to looking at this. I'll be from driver position zero to driver position zero. Yeah. <laughs> uh Okay, so let's just head straight into it. Oh yeah, by the way, Toro Rosso, they have improved in their driver develop, uh, their car development, shall I say? As you can see, uh, Mercedes w well ahead, then Red Bull, and then Toro Rosso and Ferrari. We're currently the fourth best car as it stands. So we need to try and improve a bit more in in our car. But I'm not the first team driver anymore, so I don't get the points. <laughs> We've seen some astonishing Grand Prix here over the years, haven't we? The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first. With that, then, let's run. All right. Let's go. On the inside. And go. Come on, let's do this car. We're not going to have a bad race again today. I refuse to have another bad race as one of the McLarens have gone. Re really? All the possession's been handed back. I'm going to try and overtake around the outside. It seems to have worked. Get in. And just like that, I'm up into ninth, right behind my teammate. Great start. And I'm flying side by side with Kimi Raikkonen. And I'm trying to give him the space. And he has to yield eventually as I go over the curbs. And I'm up into eighth. Come on. There we go. I'm in the points at Hungary, so that's something to be happy about. Good start. So next up is Carlos Sainz. And that's not a surprise, considering the Toro Rosso is, well, almost as good as the Red Bull in terms of performance. So it's really weird to see. 
and it's odd because that's actually the team I first started off with in my career. That's really weird. Now I'm fighting against them. How things have changed. Okay. Science is pulling away. That's not good to see. Science, come back, you son of a dick. I want more points. Ooh, baby, please come back. Ooh, I just want seventh place. Ooh, Kimmy, please don't take me out. That's enough of that. <laughs> okay. Alright, I don't think 7th place is up for grabs, just simply because I'm not catching up. So let's, let's just keep Kimmy Raikkonen behind. Obviously, realistically, it would be like, James, uh, you're the second driver, Kimmy is faster than you. Will you please let him pass? And I'm like, no. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I'm quite happy where Kimmy is, thank you. I'm quite happy where I am. Uh, if I do finish 8th, at least I've got a, um, a decent result at this track, which I've never had before. That would be a small step in the right direction. Three laps to go. Can I hold up the rest of the field? Will something dramatic happen at the front? Will the people spectating this race actually move and make a reaction? Okay. Break. Turn right. At the end of the road, turn left. <laughs> yeah, let's add the GPS into Formula One. <laughs> that will make things entertaining. Go right around the roundabout. There's a roundabout on this track. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kimmy! No, 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 no. Outbreaked him there, and I'm still in front. Get in. Kimmy almost had me there, but I'm still in eighth, so that's good. Eighth place will give me four points to Kimmy's two in ninth. And turn right. And you will see the meter boards and the lackluster crowd on the left. Okay. So science is nowhere to be seen <laughs> anymore. That's how slow I'm going, and that's where my pace is right now. That's not great news, but at least I'm completing my objective. I'm currently being Kimmy, so that's good enough. So that's something. And you can't be too disappointed in that. Rosberg is winning a race, and he's planning to extend his championship lead. Somehow he miraculously got third place at Silverstone. Used fucking voodoo magic that shit. And this is made his car back to normal and fucking crossed the line in third. Alright. Again, Kimmy. Not letting you through. It's not happening. He's lost a place. I think he's lost two places actually. Oh no, he's, no, it's just one place. So Kimmy's in tenth. Now I've got Magnuson right up the chuff. Whoops, that's not the circuit. <laughs> as the track, um, well, as the game's telling me, uh, I've got a warning. The exceeding track limits, yes. Believe me, it, it was certainly not deliberate. 
Why would I hit a bollard? <laughs> so, just a few corners left to go. Keep pushing the car. Okay, round to the right. Just two more corners to go. This one. Followed by this one also. And Nico Rosberg wins in Hungary and extends his championship lead. And the Ferraris get 8th and 10th. Thank you, I'll take that, Jeff. Like I said, a small step in the right direction. Hopefully it's a sign of bigger things to come. Alright, Lewis second and Lonzo in third place. And the jumpsuits look very similar. Alright. Okay. So, fantastic result. Uh, anything from the director. Only Nazo with a collision with Harry Anto, two seconds. Okay. It's a difficult call, but I'm going to have to give it to the Ferrari driver. There was a lot going At least I was given driver of the day, that's nice. So, after all that, I'm only 16 points behind my teammate. So, that's something to take on board. Um, obviously, my objective is sixth in the standings. So, that's where I need to aim for, and that's exactly where Kimi is. But, as you can see, Kimi was doing well, but he's dropping a bit. I think Ferrari has taken a step backwards. And I think it's showing a bit. Look, it's even showing the constructors. We were fighting for second at one point, and now we drop down to fourth from the constructors with Renault catching us now. Uh, it's not looking good. Uh, I think this team's going downhill a little bit, so we need to turn things around and get back into, well, uh, a more competitive car, hopefully a winning car. But until then... Bottas once again beats me in the rivalry, so that's brilliant. Alright. So, I'm hoping for better things to come. But, that was a decent result. Like I said, 8th place in Hungary. Can't complain. Uh, I got 2nd in Germany last time. So, hopefully I can get a result there. So, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next race. Bye-bye.